Hey everyone, hope you're all doing very well and welcome back to another video here on the channel. Now this video I've made it specially for those that have really not seen the content that we've been putting up here on the channel about our battery tests and seeing exactly how we can determine a good estimate for the real C rating of a lithium polymer battery pack. Even if you don't calculate the real C rating and estimate that real C rating of a battery pack, you can still use this bit of data to help with your own performance understanding of your battery packs. So this is what we're going to go through in this video and what we're going to use is a 2200 milliamp hour 2S. Now this type of battery, this exact battery is what runs the ECU, the fuel pump in a turbine powered radio controlled jet. I also just used one of these batteries, this one in particular as well, in a radio controlled boat that's about 22 inches long. I can leave a link in the description below. I ended up 3D printing that boat and I designed that boat in order to be something that is quite simple to build and simple to print and any slicer would be able to handle the geometry of this boat and everything so far is working out very well. Highly suggest you take a look at that and follow the progress that we move through over the next several weeks. With that battery pack, what we're going to do is we're going to run through the test and see exactly how we can easily determine the C rating. For all the followers of this channel, this is not really going to be anything new for you. However, if you're not doing this, I would highly suggest that you start because you can really determine the performance that you're getting from a battery pack and see how good it's performing. And if anything, after a certain time period, let's say a couple years goes by, you'll be able to see the performance at that year number two mark versus year number zero. You're going to be able to see the differences and how the battery pack ages. So there's lots of good information that you can actually pull from it. So now let's throw this right on the charger. As you can see here, what we're always doing in this test is using a specific multiplier. Here we're using 1.5 C. That's the charge rate we want to use and that works out to 2.2 times 1.5 and that's exactly what we set it to. The second thing I want to say is that the temperature of the room is very critical. I'd highly suggest if you're doing this to monitor the temperature just with a simple thermometer in the room that's probably good enough for you guys at home when you do this to know that you're within like you know a degree of where you have been the previous day a small temperature difference can impact the internal resistance of a battery pack you know either way if you do it this way it's only going to make your test more accurate and more consistent for what you're trying to do the consistency is really what we're after here and not necessarily accuracy so keep that in mind. As we're going through it there, you can see the resistance that popped up on the screen after about a minute. Now this charger determines the internal resistance of each one of the cells after about a minute, and that's the ideal time to take that that measurement. So hopefully your charger is around the same timing as that one minute mark. Let me know in the comment section below, first of all, if you do this and when your charger takes that first initial internal resistance reading. With the data that we've now collected, let's take that information, throw it into the calculator and determine what our estimate for the real C rating is. Here we are, this calculator is actually quite easy to use. This is the RC Explained Calc Sheet. It is the one for September since we do issue a new one every single month. This one's not quite out yet. I'm gonna be posting it within the next couple days. Got a couple final touches to add to it and then I'm done. Along the bottom side of this sheet, you can see a bunch of tabs with a bunch of different calculators that we can use for all different applications in the radio controlled industry. What we're interested in here today is the LiPo calculator. And we're gonna start manipulating only two of these fields in order to determine the battery packs calculated real C rating. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to change the capacity of the battery pack. It's going to be a 2200 milliamp hour battery pack as we know and then we're going to take the average cell resistance that we determined and that is between 4.2 volt or 4.2 ohms and 3.9 ohms. That gives us about 4.0 five ohms that we can place in here. Now, when we enter this information in, the battery packs calculated real C rating here. This is estimated to be about 26.5 C 
for this specific battery pack. And this is information now that we know about this battery pack that we can always relate to here in the future. That's how quick, that's how simple this is to use. If you don't want to go and, you know, join the community here for the RC Explained Patreon community, you can also look on the radiocontrolinfo.com website. There should be another calculator very similar to this one that is posted there. It certainly will not come with all the bells and whistles that this sheet does have. But there you go, that's how easy it is. Well guys, I really hope if you have the time that you're trying this out at home and recording the values, it can only help and make things easier and better in the future. If you really want to understand the performance of your battery and how your battery ages, this also helps to know when your battery is simply just out of steam. As always, like the video if you do. Don't forget to hit that sub button so that you won't miss any videos that we put out there in the future. And thanks a lot for watching guys. See you in the next one.